and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. I'm sorry that I couldn't catch up with you yesterday. I was a bit under the weather but I'm back here today and I'm back with a Hansi Flick update. This is becoming a bit of a regular habit on weekends here to just give you an update on what is going on with him because there have been lots of rumours I've got to say telling us that Hansi Flick is no longer one of the leading candidates there to take over from Xavi that Barca may be starting to lean away from Flick and that got a few people thinking okay, is this happening? Is this really the route that we're going down here? Are there other options that are going to be coming through? Because some rumours there suggested that Barca would much, much rather someone who has experienced multiple leagues, who have actually coached there in a number of different countries, and they come there with more experience. But the point was made, would you rather somebody who's experienced multiple leagues, but may not have actually won there? Or would you rather somebody who has been a serial winner in the country where he has coached? You know, so what do you want here? Do you want that variety? Do you want that experience? Or do you want somebody who has experience winning at the very, very top level? And I just want to say here, guys, I do not believe that Flick has fallen out of the running. I still believe here firmly that he is one of the leading candidates to take over at Barca, because remember, he is the only coach who we have held talks with. And we have. We've spoken there with his agent. We understand his demand. There's been informal talks there on both sides. And also Flick, of course, has made it very clear to us that he would like the job. So that, for me, still puts him right there among the leading candidates. And I did actually think it was very interesting to see him this weekend at a Premier League game. He was actually in attendance there for none other than Roberto De Zerbi's Brighton up against Fulham in the Premier League. He was in the crowd there, Flick. Now, in that that game, De Zerbi's team, unfortunately for him, lost three goals to nil, and I still feel right now like De Zerbi is not likely to take over from Xavi because of that release clause. Brighton are very, very clear it would need to be paid in full, it will be big money for Barca, and we are not in the position to pay that. But what I would also like to tell you guys today, and the really interesting thing to keep an eye on over these coming days, Julian Nagelsmann, because apparently Barca are really, really keen to speak with him there. Maybe with informal talks once again, nothing too concrete, but just to understand what Nagelsmann's plans will be after the Euros. What is he planning to do there? When his contract at Germany, don't forget, is going to expire after the tournament mid-July, where is he going to be? And Barca would like to understand that maybe before making any more moves on their new coach. So that is something there definitely to bear in mind. And the question that I've got here for you today, guys, regarding Flick, regarding here, this new news on Nagelsmann, if you had to pick between those two, two German coaches, two very different German coaches in many ways, would you go with Hansi Flick? Or would you rather opt for Julian Nagelsmann? And why? Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you soon, of course. Let's hope from Barca for a big result tonight at San Mames. It's a very, very important game now. And I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.